Okay, so lesson 2. Probability distribution. So, a probability distribution is a list of possible values and its corresponding probabilities. No? So, example, uh, construct a probability distribution for the data and draw a histogram of the distribution. So, example number one. The probabilities that a surgeon operates on 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7 patients in any one day are 0 0.15, 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.20, and 0 0.20 respectively. So what we're going to do is we will draw a table uh, consisting of possible values and its corresponding probabilities. No? So let's do this. Okay, so let's show that. Okay, the first thing you need to do is draw a table. Mm -hmm. So let uh, okay, so two column tables. So the first column let x represents the number of patients, no. So, we have number of patients, we have 3, uh, we have 4, okay, 5, 6, and 7, okay, that's it. And, uh, it's uh, corresponding probabilities is that, uh, because our, our random variable is x, so we will write p of x. So, the probability that the number of patients is 3 is here. Okay, so 0 0.15. Uh, the, the probability that the surgeon operates 4 patients is 0 0.20. The probability that the surgeon operates 5 patients is 0 0.25. The probability that the surgeon operate, operates 6 patients is 0 0.20 and also 7 patients is 0 0.20. Okay. So, this is now what we called probability distribution. A list of all possible values and its corresponding probabilities. Okay. So, ano yung makikita natin sa probabilities? First, yung unang property. The first property of a probability distribution is that kung mapapansin natin yung mga values ng probability, uh, walang negative. So, therefore, our probability is uh, e uh, less than or equal to zero. I mean, our probability is greater than or equal to 0. And aside from that, another observation is that 0 point something, 0 point, 0 point, 0 point something. So, our probability is also less than or equal to 1. So, that's the first probability. That's the first property of probability distribution. The probability values is less than, is greater than or equal to 0 and Less than or equal to 1. Hindi bababa sa 0, hindi lalagpas sa 1. So, yun yung ibig sabihin niya. The second property, okay, property, properties of probability distribution is that kung titingnan natin, kung i-add natin tong tatlong to, ano kaya, etong probabilities pala, ano pala yung magiging result? Okay, so let's find out, no? The sum of all probabilities, no? titingnan natin the sum of all probabilities 0 0.15 plus 0 0.20 is 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.60 plus 0.20 is 0 0.80 plus 20 is 1.00 or 1 okay we can say that the second property of a probability distribution is that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Okay, so that's it. No? So, if lumagpas na sa 1, 
yung isang probability uh, it cannot be a value of a probability distribution kasi dapat uh, hindi siya lalagpas sa buwan pwedeng 1 but dapat hindi lumagpas okay so next na gagawin natin is magko-construct tayo ng histogram gamit itong probability distribution so dito natin i-drawing sa gilid okay so yung sa horizontal line nandito yung mga values natin so we have 3, 4, 5, 6 or 7 okay okay gawa natin ng lines okay then dito naman sa gilid no ah uh, yung nandito sa gilid uh, from 0 so uh, let's assume na nandito yung 0 0.15 0 0.20 0 0.25 okay so 0 0.25 yung pinakamataas so yun na yan 1.00 yung pinakadulo okay the next thing we need to do is we will graph no so first yung 3 natin yung corresponding probability ni 3 is 0 0.15 so, 0 0.15 yung corresponding probabilities niya. Therefore, eto yung 0 0.15 gagawa natin ng line. Okay. Sa 3 column. Tapos, i-shade natin. Next, yung 4. Yung corresponding probability ni 4 is 0 0.20. So, nandito yung 0 0.20. So, eto yung 4. So, yung intersection nila is dapat nandito. Shade natin. Okay, next also is that yung 5, yung probability ng 5 is 0 0.25. Nandito yung 0 0.25, so we will draw a line and shade it, no? 6, yung 6, yung probability niya is 0 0.20. So, nandito yung 0 0.20, so lagyan ng line, shade. Uh, 7 is also 0 0.20, so nandito siya, so we will shade it also. Okay, so this is what we called is to gram. Okay. And this is what we called uh, okay, this is called probability distribution. Okay. Example 2. The probabilities that a customer buys 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 items in a convenience store are 0 0.32, 0 0.12, 0 0.23, 0 0.18, and 0 0.15 respectively. So, we will construct a probability distribution out of this. So, first, again, we will draw two columns. Okay, one... Okay, so let's divide it now. Yan. Let's divide this by 2. Okay. And let's divide it uh, the upper. Okay. So, let's X represents the number of items that a customer will buy. So, let's present this as X. No? Okay. So, yung mga values natin sa X, yung mga number of items, we have... Okay, we have 2, 3, 4. So, we write 2, 3, 4. And also, 5 or 6. So, we will write 5 and 6. Okay, first, yung probability distribution naman. Yung probabilities, I mean. Okay, so the probability that the, I, the customer will buy 2 items is 0 0.32. Okay, bakit 0 0.32? Kasi ang sabi dito, respectively. Meaning to say, kung 2 yung nauna na number, pagdating dito sa probabilities, kung ano yung nauna, yun yung probability niya. Okay? So, 2 and 0 0.32. Then, yung 3, yung probability niya is, andito, yung 0 0.12. Okay, we'll write 0 0.12. Yung 0 0.23, yung probability, yung 4 is, yung probability niya is 0 0.23. Yung 5 is 0 0.18, tapos yung 6 is 0 
Okay, so eto na ngayon yung tinatawag nating probability distribution. Okay, so ganun lang kadali yung pag-construct ng probability distribution. List lang ng values, tapos yung corresponding probabilities. Tanong, sir, pwede po bang magka-interchange like yung probability ng 2 ay maging 0.12? Hindi. Kasi dapat yung corresponding probabilities niya yung nasa linya niya. Yung 2 is 0.32. Ganon. Okay, next, we will construct now a histogram. Okay, ulitin ko sa histogram. Example ito. So, yung nasa horizontal line, yung nasa baba is yung mga values. So, we have 2, um, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. Then, gagawin natin dyan, uh, gawan natin ng mga lines between the numbers. no? So, 3, 4. So, yung between nila is nandito. Okay. Okay, and okay. Tapos, i-close natin yung nasa taas. So, first, yung nasa unahan is 0 yan. Do, then, let's assume, na assume to ah. So, ikaw yung uh, gagawa. So, let's assume na nandito yung 0 0.12. Then, nandito yung 0 0.15. 0 0.18. Uh, okay. Then, we have 0. Point, sabihin natin nandito yung 0 0.23. Yung pinaka mataas is 0.32. Okay. So, sa pag-graph natin ito, no? paggawa ng histogram, yung probabilities ng 2 ay 0.32. So, nandito sa taas. Gawan lang ng line, tapos shade. Yan. Yung number 3 naman, yung probability niya is 0.12. Ito. So, gagawan lang natin ng line. Tapos, shade. Yung 4, yung probability niya is 0 0.23. So, andito yung 0 0.23. So, dito tayo gagawa ng line. Then, shade. Yung 5, 0 0.18. Nandito yung 0 0.18. So, gawa ng line. Tapos, shade. Yung 6 is 0 0.15. Nandito yung 0 0.15. Gawa ng line. Tapos, shade. So, therefore, nakagawa na tayo ng histogram. Okay, so kung may tanong, message nyo lang or comment. Thanks!